Hello again, my name is Ernest Mena. Thanks for choosing us. The Upper East Regional Security Council has placed a ban on the use of motorbikes within Boko and its environs. With immediate effect, this comes in the wake of renewed chief tensi clashes that has claimed at least four lives. Reports indicate that one of the deceased is a policewoman who was on a visit in the area. The police is yet to make an official statement on this, but let's go on to the phone lines uh, for some more on this developing story. We're joined by the Regional Minister, Stephen Yakubu. Thank you very much, sir, for your time here on Join News Prime. Uh, what has informed the reintroduction of the ban on the riding of motorbikes? Yeah, yesterday uh, there were um, some shootings. Uh, before that, I would like to uh, say hello to all your listeners. Yesterday, there were some shootings, and uh, as you rightly said, four people uh, died on that particular shooting. And then the police uh, lady also died, and then another person died. So yesterday, six people died out of the shooting. And uh, because of that, uh, uh, Westpac uh, met, and then... Uh, we uh, reviewed the situation, the situation in Boko, and we decided that uh, we will uh, ban motorbikes uh, in Boko, and that's exactly what we did. And uh, calm has returned to Boko. Mm. Boko is currently uh, very calm. Mm. Has there been a beef up of security in the area on the ground? Yes, yes, there is a beef of security. We have more security men, uh, both police and uh, soldiers. And uh, we've, as I've told you, we've re-strategized, and uh, the place is very calm. Now, remember that we have a curfew day already. Mm -hmm. So what we have done uh, is uh, just imposing the ban of motorbikes. So we have three things running there now. We have uh, people are not wearing smokes, they're still uh, in force. And then motorbikes, uh, no one is to ride a motorbike, both men and women, and also uh, uh, the curfew. Any arrest or particular persons you are looking out for? Uh, I think that I'll leave that for the security services to, uh, to, to answer that. But a lot of operations is actually taking place uh, to be able to arrest the perpetrator. Very well. Thank you very much for your time. That's the uh, regional minister, the Upper East Regional Minister, Stephen Yakubu, joining us on this latest development in Boko. But our correspondent, Albert Sorry, is there monitoring events and he joins us. Albert, uh, what is the mood in the town this evening? Yes, and so it's just a few minutes to uh, just less than an hour to curfew time. And as you would expect, because of um, what happened over the last 24 hours, a lot of people are already indoors. So uh, the Boko Township is very quiet at the moment. It's been like that for most part of today okay. uh, because the, I mean, the fears have been that the tension um, was escalating, uh, especially so since the police um, have been uh, quiet uh, the whole of today. They haven't really spoken on the matter uh, to reassure the general public of uh, what the security measures are and all of that. So many people have been uh, very cautious about their movement and um, a lot of people have remained indoors for most of today. Besides the curfew, there's a ban on the riding of motorbikes. How are the residents reacting to this ban? Yeah, so as you heard the regional minister say, this was uh, a, a ban that you know was instituted before yeah. Um, it took a very long time before they lifted it. They eventually lifted it for uh, only the women, and then they lifted it completely uh, somewhere around 2015. Now, because of what happened yesterday, the Regional Security Council has been forced to reintroduce this ban. Now, the motorbike is the commonest means of transport uh, for most people in the Upper East Region, so you would imagine that it will definitely affect um, movement. People who want to get to work will have to resort to other means of transport. Um, but the ban doesn't include motor tricycles. So okay. um, it may just become the next available uh, 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 resource to people who want to travel to and from work. But that also comes with its own challenges because just like the trotro, you will have to drop somewhere along the line and mm -hmm. walk a distance to where you are going. So 
it is not as convenient as having your personal motorbike but this is something that people will have to learn to cope with. Mm. Already there's a ban on the wearing of smog uh, because of uh, some security measures the police think this will help address. Now, how is that being complied with uh, before you know, the introduction of this new ban? Yeah, so the, the first time the, this uh, recent tension started was um, November uh, you know, the, the, just just the last uh, the last year that passed in November, uh, this was when we started having um, the the recent tensions, and so uh, that was around the time. It was around this time, sorry, that the Regional Security Council uh, decided to ban the wearing of smog because the the smogs are normally used to conceal weapons when people wear them. So that is something that you know had already been in force and people were complying. Uh, the riding of motorbikes being banned this time around is another uh, new enforcement that the Regional Security uh, Council have decided to institute in order to help maintain peace in Boko. So uh, even though there are inconveniences, uh, people will have no option but to comply. That's Albert Sorry. He's our correspondent in the Upper East region, bringing us up to speed with the situation in Boko.